So make sure you go ahead and check out the curated playlist that happen every single Monday. Excuse me, every Tuesday. Sorry, I messed up a little bit there. So these play, all these high plays, including the fact that you hear this different voice, the invitation coming in. I'm just kidding. It's surprise guest show from Carl Weezer. And I'm going to go ahead and be done with this now as I get ready to talk to Jimmy's mom. So make sure you download the app on iOS and then go ahead and make sure that you bookmark it for future use on Android apps. That was a thing that our ears were just uh, subjected to. And that is now forever cemented in history. Yay! Let's go! Crazy, stupid stuff because I am tired. So, getting into the next game. Ajax, can we make yes. like a, a, a blood oath that we take grand finals at least semi seriously? I can't. <laughs> look, I, may, I don't pop. May, pop I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not sure. It all depends on how this first stock goes in. I can't stop happens. laughing because it, the part that really sells it is Jimmy's mom. That's, that's the part that sells it. Yeah, that's it. Jimmy's, Jimmy's like, he's going to start singing Jimmy's mom has got it going on. Like, so... All right, all right. Hey, you going now. Jax, the game is starting, Jax. Hey, Jax. <laughs> So anyways, getting into game number one, <laughs> we got Beast Mode Paul versus uh, Sharp. Sharp Tality, now known as Nato Sharp, decided to change up the uh, the tag to be Nato Sharp. It is going to be a run back of Winner's Finals that we saw before. It did, uh, you know, Beast Mode was forced to switch, but I think that the hero pretty much needs to be the business the entire time. It is his best character. I did like the Sephiroth, but I think that I would like to see him run it out with the hero. In either case, well... Uh, Arsene's out. Big Papa's here. He's out and ready to play in the big scary red man. Definitely does not mess around. The mask is off. Usman Paul needs to play very, very carefully around Sharp, but he's doing just that. Already off the bat, he gets the runoff fair, and that's going to take care of the first stock. Only 37.8% done to him. Sharp's got a lot of distance to make up. Yeah, that's what you like to see. You want to get that damage on early, especially against Sharp, because you want to make it so Sharp is forced to play forward, hold forward, and get hit a lot. So even when he gets Arsene around 42% or so, that's that Arsene's going to be gone pretty quick, because you are pretty low. But the early aggressive off uh, offstage side B is not going to work out yet. He, watched, he, he somehow avoids that, holds on the shield too, doesn't get called out on the jump, and then kaboom, gets hit by an even more busted move in Tetracarn. Petrocar and be like, haha, mine. <laughs> because he's just going to die. The sharp misses his tech though. And that's gonna be him going down very, very quickly. He died at what was that, like 60%? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you gotta be happy about that. And if, if you're Beast Mode Paul, and now, like, actually, that, that was a pretty missed opportunity for your mind. Now, here we go. Um, I'm actually pretty excited. I get to know what these moves finally are because I'm finally playing Persona 5. Right now, all I know is that that, uh, that <laughs> knife is putting in work. Guns are so difficult against linear recoveries like that on the way back up. And <laughs> I see you, chat. It might happen. But <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we made the blood oath to take this seriously. I never, I never said I was cutting my finger. I don't know what the hell you talk about. I but cut your I'm finger. Just saying in a, I'm just saying in horror movies, I'm not going into that ad and I'm not cutting my hand for any blood oaths. So here we go. <laughs> oh, the back air is going to take him out. Oh, no, it's not going to do it just yet. It's actually, the Beast Mode Paul's no, holding on the stock dead. until now. <laughs> yeah, uh, down gun, very, very powerful, like you said, against those linear recoveries, especially the uh, the whoosh of Hero, because, well, there's only one way to go, and that's up. Sharp's going to be able to counter that very, very nicely, but 95% on him. That's a kill very, very shortly. Uh, okay, I thought his shield was about to pop like a balloon there. Yeah, but oh, my goodness, just barely missed one. the... Dude, like, it, like the, the beast mode has missed just two big punishes. That could have been it. Oh, side B, there it goes. Another one of those. That's done. And Sharp has to be so careful. Even with the up tilts as well, they're going to get around the range. Now he's going to possibly find himself that buff. I like the fact that he didn't use Kaboom because Arsene's right in front of you. The drag down, like the fair one drag down, and he's going to. Oh, Wait, what the hell just happened? Uh, uh. <laughs> 
So well, I, I, I'll tell you what happened. Sharp got dragged down fair one into Jabbery set F smash. Then when he tried to chase Beast Mode Paul off stage, he missed the bear. And the whoosh hit him right in the face. I think that might have been techable, but Sharp just wasn't ready for the tech. And he gets sent right into the blast zone for Beast Mode Paul to pick up game one. Yeah, facts. Like, I'm sitting there staring at that scenario, right? And for Sharp, you got to be thinking, hmm, I'm going to find that down here. I'm going to steal this game away. I'm going to take it, pretty boy. And the next thing you know, it's like, wait, 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 I'm sorry. That whoosh is just such a big hitbox. It throws you off, and it's hard to time on teching on its way back, too. So good job from Beast Mode, Paul. Sharp did. Uh, Sharp looked really good on that last stock, though. You're starting to run it back. Oh. Why does that do... I'm having a, an existential crisis about the amount of damage that Frizz does. Well, it's, it's, it's literally stuff. just it's literally just an uncharged neutral B that does 7.5. Why? <laughs> because this character's got dumb damage. Oh, that downer ain't no spike, but he's gonna keep the ledge up up. It, wow, this wow, Sharp literally just stared him down. Like, I know you're gonna press buttons. I'm waiting for you to swing. Now, and that's pretty much what he's doing. Covering him again and again, looking for the roll in again. But this is where things could get bad. Yep, side B. Basically put the damage right back to half. Chad is actually saying right now, I didn't notice it, but apparently that, that hit uh, to take the last game was unteckable. I didn't see the red lightning, but if it was there, it was there. Oh, down throw. F oh, double jump fair. Going to take out the stock there and Sharp looking way more confident than he did last game. Yeah, and also for somebody who was asking, Uncharged Neutropy is actually really good with Accelerate because you could combo off of it. So that's something you have to watch out when Accelerate is online for, for Beast Mode Ball because that is not something you want to just stare at. Like, ah, it's a little bit amount of damage. It's okay. And then you just die. But speaking of just dying. Hey, Jax, why does this character get away with this? And I know we're literally on the other side of the screen. There is a Joker who is the most egregious overpowered character in all of Smash Ultimate, and I'll stand by that. But still, like, Hero, some of the stuff that Hero does is just, bruh. Down yeah, throw pretty... up air, not gonna kill yet. Oh! It's with the a oh. oh. To the top, Blast Zone is going to get the kill. I love that, because you go all the way up there, right? If, if Beast Mode Paul gets out of that by air dodging, you still have him in a frame trap. So you can either hit him with Nair if he air dodged in, or if he air dodges straight down, you just cover him with forward air anyway. So there was so many options covered by Sharp there. Uh... Wow. <laughs> and Sharp, even going for Rebel's Guard in this situation, he's trying to just, hey, give me our send back. I, you know I deserve him, right? Probably not a probably not a hippo. I'm about to put you in a timeout for that one. I'm about, I don't don't think I'm not. I don't think I don't see you in chat making jokes like that. I see you. Right, so here we go. 59% uh, on last stock. Sharp is basically a straight hit from dying, and now we're at an even game. Uh, maybe, maybe not, cause sharps. Wait, I just no, look, the, look, it's hero. You, shut, it's shut hero, up, and he's up, fully charged. Up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hate that you're right. And I'm also angry that you're right. I'm angry yep. at Sakurai. Yep, you're 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 at kill percent at zero. Just always remember that. Oh, he's out of position to punish him for the rebel scar, and he gets hit on his way back in with the forward smash. Sharp evens it back out. Good job for Sharp keeping his uh, mental composure there, because a lot of people would get very scared there and just start whipping a lot of hits just for the sake of finding the KO. And that's when you get a crit and you die. That's when you make the same but... joke as quiet friend of the whole class and laughs at you instead. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to put you on blast like that. I'm so sorry. I'm so no. sorry. No, last time I was talking to you. <laughs> Ajax, is there any... I'm curious. Is there any one of your roommates you can actually impersonate? No, not yet. Okay. No, I, I, would, I would love to try, but I can't. <laughs> I am going to heavily work on that Christopher Walken though, because I feel like doing an entire Christopher Walken set will just basically That's money. Break. That's money, it will, yeah. It will break the Smash Twitter feed. <laughs> so so now we uh we get in. <laughs> like just sit, just sitting there watching like listening to that. It's like what is going on? All right. On to the next one though. No break on the flame slash, not trying to run straight up at him for it. Uh, also avoiding the bang too. Sharp is speed reading as fast as he can, but you can't react to that side B. But he's done a solid job of avoiding most of them. I wish I could do Morgan Freeman. Oh my God, Morgan Freeman's great. You, do you guys, do you guys want to be alone? We can. 
<laughs> we can, we can, oh, sharp. Hang on. He gets the drag down with the up air, and he follows it up with another grab. And now Beast Mode Paul way off stage. Sharp can't follow it up with the uh, the gun, though. He was definitely looking to. Now Papa Arsene is out to play, and this is where it gets scary for Beast Mode Paul. Yeah, I mean, look, Beast Mode Paul's got buffs on deck, too. So, like, I like the fact that, like, he was playing in mid-ranged, where it was like, hmm, look, if you make a mistake on whiff, I could also hard punish you here. But that that is pretty much gone now. And our set actually is almost gone too, but covers him with the guns, down guns. You said it before, I think it was in game number one. That is such a good coverage tool for pretty much any vertical vertical recovery, but especially against this. And you saw right there, he's looking for the like the uncharged neutral be, because that would have confirmed him to forward air right there at the ledge. Bear connects on Sharp's hop in and it's going to catch him there. Now we're at an even stock and even stock means even game with these characters, Ajax. Both are capable of killing you at the drop of a hat. Sharp really looking for this Nair. Try and set him up and there's the drag down. Yeah, that's that, that's that combo damage we're used to seeing out of Sharp. He's so good, so consistent at keeping pressure on. And just anytime you're near a platform, you're basically just asking for 60%. But the mistake doesn't even get punished that hard actually. He only got a throw out of it. Okay, he goes for the Tetracarn there. I guess he was expecting the neutral. He's not dead, but he comes damn close to it. Oh, that was exactly the same type of situation that ended that other game. We tried to find that down there. This time, Sharp didn't die. But, oh, I like that. The charge attempt from the neutral beat into the reverse back air off the beer reverse. But that is a drag down, a tail all this time. That is a quick confirm for Sharp. And Beastball Paul is still not in any way, shape, or form in a bad spot. This is just one good straight hit from even it back up. Comes back to the stage. He's still got, like you said, the uh, little bit ridiculous damage output that that red glow does give to him. But oh no, Beast Mode Paul. He still makes it back after the air dodge off stage. I thought for sure he was going to be saying bye-bye to game number three. But he's still alive and he's still kicking. He gets that nice little F. Oh! I was so smart, but Sharp does not get hit by it. Who the hell uses Kaboom as a mirror for his offstage option when it literally just wins that ledge from full screen? But man, this man is crazy. But, it, but it, I mean, it didn't work out, but oh my God. All right, also even game again. Even game, absolutely. Sharp looking to try and close this out soon because if he doesn't, he's in for a world of hurt. He gets near one, can't follow it up with the up air. Jab at least puts Beast Mode Paul in advantage state for now. Mm -hmm. Yep, and if you see it right here, like Sharp is hunting. There you go, finally finds the whiff on shield to get that up smash, but uh, you need to play that situation as if you could die. And uh, it's unfortunate you gotta think that way, but th throw, don't even account for thwack. Don't even count for whack. Put those away. There's still a potential that your shield could break off of a buff straight hit. There's a potential you could get hit by a crit. There's the potential that this man might just do Hocus Pocus. Who knows? And you might just die. But like side B into and neutral B, that's literally kill percent after those two hits. You take 20 and you take like 45 and boom, you're right back in it. So you need to crowd and keep Hero from being able to get that off. Otherwise, you're in a bad spot. I also think that uh, we all know how Sharp feels about Hero. I think he's going to be trying to take this 3-1 here and now. He definitely doesn't want to be looking at a reset anytime soon. That's for sure. I don't know. <laughs> Look, I mean, like, it's it's um, it, it's one of those things where, like, it, it's super straightforward for us to say, like, yeah, you know, you want you want to win the 3-1, right? But you definitely want to win in the 3-1. You want it to be done ASAP against Hero. And you want to download ASAP, the MetaView app, which is where all of these great plays anyway. go to just get yourself some highlights so you can see all the crazy stuff we saw today, all these hype plays. And if you have iOS, go ahead and download that app right now. If you happen to have Android, make sure you bookmark that and save the date for when that app does drop for Android too. They curate the best playlist. It happens for so many events throughout the week. MSM, Collision Online, uh, Galaxy Gambit, you see me there every single week too. And of course, all of the big events, including Get Clipped, which I think there's another one coming up on the I think the 22nd, I'm not sure. And there's another one right around the corner, so make sure you check it out and download that today. You ruined it. You had such a, a good yeah, ad Did you seriously think I was gonna finish that with the proper, I, uh, the proper one, the way this night has been going? I didn't think, I hoped <laughs> though. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm unhinged, dude, they let me free. <laughs>
<laughs> I, they, they, they took off Ajax's limiter, but here we go into game number four. Sharp currently up to one. Hey, he's made the he's made the swap to here. Oh, never mind. Sharp's back on Joker. Yeah, the side. Oh my god. Yeah, the side in the uh, stick it out here on uh, Joker versus Hero. And only this time it's going to be on Kalos. Much harder for you know. Actually, not really. When Arsene's on deck, stage what, like like does not even matter. But this is going to be a bit easier for Beast Mode Paul to find some of those offstage edge guards by using up B, forcing him to go ahead and like be on the rise. Every time you try to go for that tether grab, I mean tether recovery, or even Arsene, you could possibly get uh, get hit by the whoosh on the way back. Yeah, but tether recovery is like in in most situations. That's that's a critical thing to bring up. Oh my goodness, look at Sharp go. He's still keeping it up. That's a critical thing to bring up. Is that for most characters, Sharp connects very very good back air to take Beast Mode Paul's first stock out. Mm -hmm. Joker's recovery with without Arsene, the tether, tether recovery is not edge guard. You can't beat it. Tether sure. recoveries are just so good. But with that lingering hitbox that is uh, Hero's Whoosh, you can. And, well, by God, Beast Mode Paul will. Yeah, I mean, oh. Beast, Mode Paul, Beast Mode Paul just trying to play the game right now. Just trying to find his way back in. Sharp is conditioning him so hard at the ledge. And just trying to find, like, it, it, even with the, the AHA as well, the damage over time is just so annoying for Hero. He had that red Reddit. preemptively. This man was like, oh, let me give it to you real quick. But he didn't get it. And then that sizzle, the unreact, it's so hard to react to and just find your way back up, but that was very good coverage from Beast Mode. Wow. <laughs> oh, Beast Mode Paul does catch the landing there, but Sharp still not letting off the gas pedal yet. He gets that, he's been really liking that uh, fair one into up air combo. He's been doing a lot of work with it. He gets caught by the side B. Sharp still holding on here in the lead, and we've been talking about like how egregious some of the stuff that, uh, that Hero does throughout this set take a second to talk about how stupid some of the stuff joker can pull off is he goes for all oh, he wanted that ledge trump there but he doesn't find it sharp looking to take out the stock soon and there's the tetra card there he goes yeah right now beast mode paul needs a book and a dream he needs to read really hard and hope that he gets the right spell that he can get to make this comeback he, granted he's at 65 percent but this is still our set on deck he's going all the way off stage with them both of them getting up at like the exact same frame and now even without our set on deck that is a massive neutral b you just took to the face your mask is now burnt off my friend but that would technically mean our set comes back so here we go he's gonna force him off the other side of the stage again what is he gonna do about the on his way back in nothing Beast Mode Paul needs to find this stock ASAP. Gets the up air. <laughs> Beast Mode Paul with the bear. That hits so hard. I know it's so strong. Even trying to cover him on the uh, on the two frame there with the up B. Like, hey, yeah, you better watch out for those side Bs. That is damage over time you cannot afford to take right now. He's he's mitigated the damage. Just decently well until he took that hit yeah he kept it at 42 i mean excuse me 52 zooms on deck he almost snipes out the zoom that would have been it and there, oh, it is. there it is there it is there it is A brilliant all right show's over pack it up folks time to go home that's all folks you ain't gotta go home but you got to get the hell up out of here all right so here we go that no, is it joker's no. gonna go ahead and take the w that is another one for uh for sharp in the books taking uh msm online number 55 oh my goodness uh but yeah you it is 